So this is SOLIDWORKS X design. It's actually being used at a few places, uh, 60 plus people in production. Um, what you are seeing is it's a browser-based CAD, um, available on any device, anywhere. Uh, obviously, full dimensioning done. The product you are seeing is, is if you come to SOLIDWORKS world, we do model mania. So last night, we built this part. Um, obviously, I practiced it a couple of times before recording it, but the video is as is. Uh, there's no, there no, no magic here. So obviously, you can see it's fairly functional. It's fully done in terms of uh, part modeling, sketching, assembly modeling, um, and uh, some drawing capabilities. Um, and, and if you see it uh, in the bottom, the UI is fairly simple and straightforward. It's written scratch from scratch, uh, base up. And uh, in the bottom, you see all the features like sketch, feature, assembly, design guidance. I did not do design guidance today. Um, what this is is um, basically you tell where you want to fix something, where you apply the load, and the product actually builds itself in empty space. It's basically, it, it actually creates a part for you. You don't even start from a shape, it just builds it up. Yesterday night, I did not do design guidance. I should have, now that if I think about it. But anyways, what you are seeing here is a fully functional CAD system, fully dimensions. Um, it has super features, where you can go from a fillet to a chamfer to a spline to an extrude uh, without barriers, basically. Um, and it has um, pretty much, I would say around 60 to 70 percent of what's inside SolidWorks standard in terms of part modeling, assembly modeling, and sketching today. Um, you can see that uh, I just draw a line and uh, basically put some concentric mates. You see how the UI just comes up and helps you through it. Uh, do a very simple extrude. Um, you know, change it from blind to up to geometry. In this case, it, and if you're a SolidWorks user, this is natural to you. It works exactly like SolidWorks. You select the base, change the dimensions, and this is all working of a cloud uh, so, you know, server somewhere in California. And, uh, and uh, number of instances in this case is three. That's done. And obviously, I go ahead, go ahead and put some filleting and all that standard stuff. Uh, what can you do today? We have Cloud 3D Print. So from here, with one click, you can actually go Cloud Print to any printer anywhere in the world. Uh, you have Cloud Cam, so you can now go actually do cut metal with this, uh, with this particular product that we have. Um, and it's fairly robust, uh, you know, it's, it's uh, um, you know, I think in the next year, we will, we will put it for public beta to a much larger audience and we go from there. Uh, this is a three minute video, a three and a half minute video. I don't want to be between you and lunch. So I'm going to just drag this forward a little bit uh, to show the assembly capabilities if that's okay. Um, let's stop it.